All right, so last month, October, was horror and Halloween month, even though we didn't really review any Halloween moves, I don't think. Anyways, I've been putting this theme off for a while. I'm going to be doing this theme for four out of the five weeks of November because there is five weeks of that. There's five Mondays in November. So I'm going to be doing four movies, all the same theme. It's the Fast and the Furious series. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. <laughs> Winning's winning. So first up in the series, of course, is the 2001 film. came out June 22nd, 2001, The Fast and the Furious, the original, of course. I have here two DVDs of the same movie. I like this movie a lot, so I got both editions. As you can see here, this one is the widescreen edition, and of course, widescreen kicks full screen's ass. Just want to say that. I don't know why. That's just my opinion, all right? And this one, you know, it's got the usual special features and stuff whatever how many of you even really watch those i can say i've maybe watched special features on maybe five to ten movies ever some people love the special features though and then we've got the all new tricked out edition oh my god it's tricked out okay it's tricked out normal tricked out Ooh, fancy i do like this cover better though i think i don't know anyways i'm leaning on my game system Anywho, uh, back to this. Uh, the Tricked Out Edition. I think it's... No, this one. This is the Tricked Out Edition. Before I actually get into the movie review. This has like a... It's got the same special fe edition. Special features, whatever you want to call it. Uh, new bonus. It's all the same ones pretty much. Like behind the scenes and stuff like that. But then a new one is how to pimp out a hot import car. Or trick it out, whatever they say. It's funny because they're like how you can trick out your own import car and then as you start the special feature it's like do not try this at home blah blah blah, blah. so it's like why why well, get my hopes up teaching me to trick out an import car and by the way they spend like 50 grand tricking out the car so really not in my budget personally maybe you can just go and trick out trick out a car for 50 grand just out of your pocket but i personally can't anyway let's get into this movie review shall we Oh, by the way, the uh, all-new Tricked Out Edition is full screen, so just thought I'd mention that one in case you like full screen better than widescreen. But anyways, I found that the plot of this movie isn't really the main plot. It's more of a side story, really. It is the main plot, but I feel like the main plot is really just racing. So what the plot is supposed to be about is there's a series of uh, semi-jackings, semi, semi, however you say it, semi-trucks, semi-trucks. Big, big 18-wheelers? You know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, there's been a series of those going on. A bunch of uh, 1995 Honda Civics with neon underglow. Or underglow. Yeah, 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 that's the word. That's the word. Yeah, okay. Anyways, they've been uh, hijacking some semi-trucks for money, obviously. And so Paul Walker, playing Brian O'Connor, he is a member of the LAPD. So he goes undercover into the car scene, gets a job at a uh, local, pretty popular... Uh, customized shop like kind of like gas or um, what's the other one called gas and West Coast Customs West Coast Customs from Pit My Ride remember those kind of starts working at a shop like that but it's more just a, a parts place where they sell stuff anyways it's for import cars and stuff so he kind of works his way up to get um, more into the car scene until he eventually is able to go race people like Vin Diesel's character now when he gets there that's when things get fun, it's get, they get exciting, that's when all the crazy racing scenes happen. It's really good stuff. And so, like I said, the plot is kind of, kind of takes a back seat. Huh? That's a pretty good analogy or pun, whatever the fuck it was, I don't even know. Even though I'm in university for journalism. So like I was saying, the main plot kind of takes a back seat to the actual racing thing. And then they, uh, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, they are friends by now. I guess you could call them friends. And they they uh, they come across Johnny Tran. But when rivalries are a way of life, I thought we had an agreement. You stay away, I stay away. Johnny Tran is a super into street racing. He's rich, so he's got so much under his hood that he just destroys everyone. And uh, there's also a street racing, drag racing competition out in the desert that they have every year. It's a big, big racing competition for all the elite racers in LA. Maybe even around the world, I don't know, they didn't really specify. I'll go with L.A. So anyways, Johnny Tran, he uh, kind of messes with uh, one of uh, Vin Diesel's buddies. He doesn't really mess with him, he just beats him in a race. So that causes some trouble for them. 
because the kid decides to drive off. So Johnny Tran's looking for him. So there's a lot of stuff going on. There's about three different stories. Kind of the main. It's supposed to be the main story, stealing trucks, semi the semi trucks. And, but then there's all the racing that goes down, and then there's the stuff with Johnny Tran. So there's a lot going on there. This movie, it really doesn't need a really strong plot because the point of it is racing. As you can see, it's all about racing. And this movie really was the first movie in North America to really focus on Asian import cars. Um, so I think that's really what it was going for. And it did an awesome job. I think the race sequences are very excellently done. That doesn't even make sense. But anyways... <laughs> Um, did a really good job. They definitely have some nice cars in this. I don't know too much about cars, but I know they're nice. Okay, I know they're nice. And I know some people are just like, oh, he's got the num There's so many numbers. When you talk to someone about cars, there's always numbers and letters being thrown out. Not letters that form words, but it's like CRX. It's like, why did I just say CRX? Honda CRXs are not good cars. But, you know, I'm sure most of you have seen this movie. If you haven't, I definitely recommend checking it out. Next week, I will be back to review the second movie in this series, Too Fast, Too Furious, following, followed by Tokyo Drift, followed by Fast and Furious, which reminds me, I wish the fifth one had come out. That'd be awesome if the fifth one came out at the end of this month, but it doesn't because they're still filming it. Probably should have waited until it came out, but I didn't want to wait to do this anymore because I'm waiting to do this since the summer. I've been really wanting to do this theme because these movies are awesome. And uh, anyways, hope you check this movie out, and if you need clarification on the plot, check out the trailer as always and be back for the other reviews this week. I'll be back next week with Too Fast, Too Furious. Enjoy. This is a great movie. Check it out. Yeah.